what he wants. <sighs> making mama want to eat a honey bun period so as you can tell by the um title of the video i'm gonna be doing a mukbang period um do it look like it's too light or something we're gonna be doing a mukbang with questions and answers anything i want to know so my bitch i got um bitch so much you got <laughs> Oh, y'all, so this is my special guest, my best friend, period. My roll dog. <laughs> no, but, um, I got, um, I got JJ's. I got some scrumps. Some what? Some scrumps. And shrimp. And some corn nuggets. What is Corn nuggets? That sounds disgusting. And y'all, I have. She got some oxtails. Oxtail and red rice. Look at this, you guys. This is so good. And I also have the question. Mm -hmm. So my best friend's gonna be asking me the questions. I'm not in for a minute, y'all. Some of them, if y'all want to answer some of them. Let me know in the next video. Yeah. And then we're gonna do the questions that you're scared to ask your best friend. <laughs> questions that y'all scared to ask your best friend. Well, I ain't scared to ask my best friend shit. Cause if I wanna know, I wanna know. I'm gonna know. You feel me? But it's like questions that y'all get scared of HIV screen because we and my best friend talk about everything. Everything. Like, on, down to the tea, baby. Come on, So, without further ado, let's pull this up some because my feet ain't but so short. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> without further ado. We're gonna get inside the, into the video. Hey, you say Swoosh! Hey, Sam! Huh? <laughs> On to the next scene. So, which one's the. Just ask You can ask him whatever you wanna ask him. <laughs> Baby! Got shit! Sorry, that's my man. He right. knows how he was. Right. Um, he just said how to do a video. No, the, no distractions. I'm gonna put him on mute. Sorry, guys. Sorry. No distractions. Um. Mm -hmm. No. First question for Miss Chun is why are you single? <laughs> okay. That's funny. Question asked by my ex. <laughs> <laughs> like, why are you trying to be funny, baby? <laughs> but nah. He just, he just want me to tell everybody that. Girl, please. But that's not happening. He did nothing. Girl, the reason please. I'm single is because I just feel like in this time in my life right now, I just don't need no distractions. I don't need no extra baggage. I don't need no toxicity in my life. Like, I just need to focus and do what I've been doing and stand on my grind and stand on myself because it's like every time I get in a relationship with a dude, it don't work out. So, so I mean, I gotta do some soul searching to myself because, mm -hmm. but I ain't saying I'm the problem though. Oh, exactly. <laughs> I ain't saying that because I'm the best I can well, I do. I do. You gotta outsell. Up, Why are you doing that? All the shit's the same size. What is it? The jumbo? Mm -hmm. Ooh. But yeah. So so basically, you just have to soul search because not like she said. It's not saying that she's the problem because she's definitely not the problem. You sure got shit in it. Mm-hmm. Good hoodie. <laughs> No, they don't get your. What's that? Your scrubs got shit in it. 
Can you close on here? Yeah. Like, what the freak? Mm. I can't even eat it. It's not good. But I think we're just going to fish inside. She's definitely not saying she's the problem. Because you're most likely going to watch this video. You're the problem. <laughs> and I'm saying that with a straight face. No laughing. I'm not playing. You're the problem and... So you all, do better. So all my um, exes. Yeah. So if niggas in general that feel as if they can do what they want to do and it's going to be it's, it's okay to hurt somebody, that's not that, that's definitely not okay. Mm -mm. Um, I just feel like if you think it's fun to hurt somebody's feelings and just go on to the next, you need help. Like, mm -hmm. and I don't know how you were grew like who how you grew up or what, but. Your mom needs to do better. Exactly. Like, and if you feel hit, oh well. Like, it's not. I'm it's not, not being rude or anything. It's just mm -hmm. a simple fact that how can how can you do somebody that way? Then when they do you that way, it's a whole problem. It's not a problem because you thought it was okay to do me that way, mm -hmm. or do her that way, or do anybody that way. That's so all my ex, all, all my ex that did me wrong. Mine too though. So don't feel exactly. It's like really like I ain't gonna say it's epic because at one point in time I loved you. <laughs> but I don't wish no bad. I wish y'all success. Mm -hmm. All that. Cause y'all can see this shit. This one gonna run numbers up. Tell me. Okay, I'm gonna text you something out. Freak the time. And then I wanna add another thing. Uh-huh. I'm not saying it's just dudes that do that because some females mm -hmm. does that too. I don't want to be, I don't want nobody to say that um, gender profile, no, that's not it. Is that because some females do do the same thing males do. Don't get me wrong. I'm all about fairness. Like, some females think it's okay to sit here and dog a nigga. Oh, excuse my friends, to dog a man and think it's okay to move on to the next person. Like, that person ain't got no karma. I tell every dude I come in contact with, I can either be your blessing or your karma. It's whatever you choose for me to be. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Excuse me. And that's just the end of that. That, right. that, that. Next question. Next question is, what's one thing you would tell your younger self? One thing I would tell my younger self is I'm so, 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 so proud of you. You overcame so much in life, like, from the time you was two to now. It's like a big difference. And I'm talking about a big difference mis mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually. Um, It's just like the way you change for the better is what, you know, what I what I would want to tell my younger self because growing up it wasn't easy for me, like literally. Um, but that's a different story time. Mm -hmm. But the thing I would tell my younger self is, I'm so proud of you. Who knew that you would get this far in life? Where you at now? Started from all the baby way back when. But what's uh? Something you say your younger self. Like, what? What is something you say your younger self? Like, I don't know. On to the next. <laughs> we gonna talk about off camera. Hmm? We gonna talk about off camera. Nothing against y'all. Just don't like talk about my past. Yeah. Um. Somebody said relationship status. <laughs> Sometimey. Yeah. Sometimey. Me. Take it! Until he wanna uh, on this motherfucker. Single single. Like, come on. Can I call one of your porn nuggets? Okay, next question. Mm -hmm. 
When's your birthday? Mine's July 14th. Her birthday coming up, y'all. Yeah, y'all. Yeah. My, my birthday's January 2nd. Period. No, I'm on copyright to the music. January 2nd. Big dog. What's up? Mm -hmm. 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 Please get away. I hate people. Look at it. The corner is busting, man. Um. Girl, you know this damn boxel plate wasn't wasn't cheap. I'm already knowing how much it was. Twenty six dollars. I feel my security, bro. They they can't be. Um, my mom needs to start making ourselves to sell plates. Yeah. Next question is How you knew you want how did you know? Sorry, they were the copy wheel on me. How did you know you wanted to become a dental hygienist? I'm not a dental hygienist. <laughs> um I'm a dental oh, assistant. Oh, not in Yeah, here you see school. I'm a dental assistant. And I really didn't know that I wanted to become this. I just Went to school. I want to. I want to book. I want to do esthetician first. But you know, I high school you change your mind a lot. But I'm a dental assistant, you guys. And I really didn't know that I want to become a dental assistant, but I did it. Um, but this is not the end of the road for me, y'all. I really want to do bigger and better. So your girl is going back to school to get her doctor's degree. Whoop whoop whoopity whoop. Yeah, I'm gonna be the baddest doctor in this motherfucking game. You just cussing. <laughs> Excuse my French. Oh, really? But y'all go make your faces and stuff. Don't worry about me. I'm next, kind of slow. next question. What is this? Cocktail sauce. Girl, you got like four shells. Six. How many jumbo shrimps come? It's supposed to be 14, but it's still like they gave me more. 14 jumbo shrimp? Mm hmm. Damn. You only get 10 small shrimps. Why do you get 14 jumbo shrimps? What's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> um, next question. What the hell? What you say? So, about why you're not going to miss us, huh? Yeah, my sister said, why I'm not going to miss her. I miss them already. I don't want to oh, you got um, Kendra. Mm -hmm. I didn't ask you to open it like that. Oh, baby, I can't. I can't do nothing. Anymore. Um, the next question is, what was your biggest regret in life? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what was my biggest regret in life? Y'all, I don't regret anything that I do that I did, cause everything is a lesson. Like, real talk, I learn, I live, I learn, and I laugh. So, any any regret that I have in life, it's not a regret because I learned a lesson from it. So, that's it. But, I know something. I don't regret it, but I wish I could have said, Goodbye to my best friend before she passed away. I wish I could have said I loved you, but that's not a regret. That's something that I wish I could have did. But yeah, next question. You don't need that hard sauce. I'm getting stressed out, dude. Um, next question is, what was your first step to owning your own business? Mm. So, my first one was, I wrote everything out. I wrote how I wanted to do it, where I wanted to do it, when I want to start, like everything that I wrote out from, I'll say from 2021 to now, 
I planned my business two years ago. And yeah, now it's present. So the first step to anybody who wants to start a business or like, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you write everything out all the way down from what you want to do, what you want to sell, how you want to sell it, what, how much income are you planning on bringing in? Um, Dang, what's, your, what's another forever. thing? A name, a brand name. I want to say, it don't matter if you guys have the same brand name, as long as yours is unique. Because what we don't understand is, entrepreneurs, we all are doing the same exact thing, but in unique ways. And that's what people don't understand. You have so many makeup artists, so many people who sell clothes, so many people who um, do braces, teeth whitening, all that stuff, but they do it in their own unique way. You know what I'm saying? So anything that you do, don't worry about who's doing what and stay in your own lane. You feel me? The mm -hmm. only way you're going to flourish is if you worry about you. Exactly. You have to and not that. try to copy mm -hmm. anybody else. Go do what you mm -hmm. want to do. Don't be like, oh, they doing this, so I'm going to do it better. Nah. Mm -hmm. Focus and on yourself. What I like to tell myself every single day is enjoy the process of um, elevating. Mm -hmm. Because this person may got it, may have got it faster than you did. But that still don't mean that you ain't gonna get it though. Exactly. You don't know what they had to go through for that. You don't know what process they had to go through for it. That process probably started way back when. So it's just like enjoy the process of elevating. Like it's a long process. Sometimes it may be long. Sometimes it may be lonely, but just enjoy it. Like, cause you learn a lot when you sit back and just be patient. So, yeah. yeah that was a simple question. <laughs> that was my question. <laughs> <laughs> Next question is, have you ever been heartbroken and how did you get over it? Oh my goodness, I've been heartbroken so many times. Like, oh. Like, man. Um, but how did I get over it? Y'all, y'all may it may y'all may it may be hard for y'all to believe this, but I pray. <laughs> like, I pray a lot. Cause like I like y'all. Does it like is they talking about like for like relationship wise or for like you know or like in general? In general. Yeah, I've been heartbroken. But the thing that broke my heart the most was losing my best friend. Like, that really took a toll on me. Cause he's just like, that, that's one person who had my entire heart. Like, this is my best friend too. She has my entire heart. And she knows that. But Shay, it was just like me and Shay was friends before me and Harry ever became friends. Mm -hmm. So it was like a different type of, you know, pain that hit when, you know, so that like that was like someone I like was like fight with. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? When the when I feel like the world was against me, I feel like, okay, the only person that against me is my best friend. So, yeah, so, but um, my overcame, I just pray, y'all, like, I really do. I really just pray. Mm -hmm. and what, without God, I'm nothing, y'all. Like, for real, for real, I ain't gonna cap. Y'all may think it's, like, you know, corny to talk about God or a joke to talk about God, but God done saved my life from so many situations. He done saved me from dying from a broken heart. Like, Y'all don't understand, like, anytime that I get my heart broken or I'm sad or I'm depressed, I just talk to God because God really can get me through it. Mm-hmm. Wow. A broken heart. Yeah. 
my I didn't even think that was true that a person could die from a broken heart. Mm -hmm. Next question is, what do you feel like is your biggest accomplishment? My biggest accomplishment is graduating from college, period, mm -hmm. and really sticking to the plan. Girl, what the fuck is you cheating? No, I'm gonna go off. Okay, I'm gonna block. Please. Just no, thank you. Go to block. But, sorry, y'all. We had a situation. <laughs> situation. <laughs> But what, what was the question? Um, what do you feel like is your biggest accomplishment? You already said college. Yeah, I graduated college, you guys. Um, I started my career at the age of 21. No kids, no nigga drama. Like, I'm just straight. Like, I'm good. My biggest ac accomplishment is really just... Life. Yeah, period. Because life is life to me. It's been real good. Take the time. Real good. Um, sounds great. Yes, y'all. She's graduating May fifth. Woo! -hoo! Yeah, no way. <laughs> Best believe I know the date. It's already got it in my brain. It's still in there. You know, mine is at seven p.m. I know because Kelly is at seven a.m. So stupid, girl. Next song. <laughs> um, next question is. What do you think about marriage and would you ever get married? What do I think about marriage? I think marriage is a beautiful thing. No, I don't. Damn! Well, it, it can be beautiful, but I believe some people take marriage as a, in a, uh, marriage as a different something. They try to be controlling and control people. When that's not what marriage is. Marriage is supposed to be 50-50 of anything. I got it's a question for you. So what do they control people with? Just control them. You're not going to sit here and try to tell me that I need to go wash the damn dishes. If you see this star right here, then go wash the damn dishes. <laughs> I know that's right. Like, what the fuck? You and my daddy. <laughs> like, you can't try to control somebody. Like, no, that's not how marriage works. Marriage should be 50 -50. It's a partnership. Exactly. It shouldn't be 50-50. Everybody should give 100. Mm -hmm. Like, even when you're in a relationship, everybody should give 100. Girl, but I straight said, I don't believe <laughs> You just straight up just said, mm. Because some people do believe that it should be like the man should always have no no the I, man should never have always have to say something about anything nor yeah. should the man always have to pay the freaking bill Bills, exactly i like, get dates y'all can either go half and half or it could be oh bad i pay for this day you pay for the next day mm -hmm. they should never always be the man paying for every single thing but, I mean, the or you know if he pay the bill you could take him on a date make him feel appreciated that's one thing I learned. And I ain't gonna cap. I never made a dude feel like I appreciate them. Because I have a hard time even showing a dude that I love him. Like, and it's not me, y'all. It's just like, because I know these dudes be playing with me. So why would I even show you that I love you when you don't love, love me? me. Exactly. It got marriage me. comes when it comes. Mm -hmm. Like God, oh, God said to be patient. Be patient. Don't rush into. And anything. God also say, do not idolize marriage. <laughs> God also said, do not idolize marriage. Anything that you want, I'm telling you, God is not going to give it to you only because you want it and not need it. Mm -hmm. So anything you want, you're not going to get it right then and there. God gives you what you need. So when you get what you need, 
Just fine. Just right. Just fine. Just like that's that's just so stupid. People jump into marriage. Mm -hmm. You finna marry this dude, and, even, oh. and then as soon as y'all get married, he controlling and and he beating on you. That's not even right. And he ain't even y'all getting no spouse. He ain't from God. So what y'all been reading here for? And listen, y'all know why I don't I'm believe in it, but it just don't need to be forced. When it's not forced, you actually. Really love each other, have understanding with each other, and mm -hmm. it just flows. Mm -hmm. Everything flows great. Then yes, I believe in it. Would I get married? Probably. Like I said, if everything goes right, we have an understanding. It's just there's a lot of stuff that comes with marriage. Then you you wonder why you see people that's been in relationships for years and they're still not married. It's because you have to have an understanding. You have to actually sit here and talk about this, this, and this. Because mm -hmm. once you're married, it's like. It's forever, and that's the thing. Like what people don't understand, it's a sin to get a divorce. Like it's a sin to separate from your spouse. So that's why God always said, "Be patient." I mean, yeah, it feel like you went for an attorney to Lord knows. But y'all wanna know what something that attracts me is a dude who been in the streets, who been in the hood, who been through everything that you could think of. He a drug dealer, all that. But he believe in God. Like, mm -hmm. that's a turn on. Like, I love. Next question. <laughs> I was going to take it now. I can see that. Uh, how do you maintain your business and career at the same time? Mm. That's, a, that's a good question. <laughs> you want to know why? Because that's my question. <laughs> That's mine. Um, how do I maintain my career? I don't. I don't maintain it. I don't. Must the struggles of just trying to maintain it. Because I know it can get hard. I know it can get stressful. I know it can get emotional mm -hmm. and just keeping up with this, this, this. And I have not really have any help to help you in, like, you know. Mm -hmm. So... The biggest thing is time. Like you guys, like I be making, I be trying to make time for all of my clients. And the thing about it is, now that I'm going to be working Fridays and Saturdays, I'm not gonna have no time at all. Like, so it's like really just trying to find a time that best fits you and the client. Mm -hmm. and that's what it is. Cause Lord knows, sometimes when I come home from work, I don't be wanting to. I don't be wanting to um do anything but take a shower, get in the bed, and watch Disney Channel. Like my best friend tell you, I'm supposed to be watching Scandal, but I just need something that I made me go to sleep. Um, on to the next. What is like being a bad B word? Fully. Wanna why? Why? Them niggas be biting. Biting. Uh, they be like, give me your chicken salad. It's we morning. <laughs> <laughs> Not we morning. I cannot with you, bro. Um, somebody said a topic on sexy time. Mm. Y'all nasty. Why do I know what I be doing with my womb? <laughs> with your what? My womb. No. Oh my god. Y'all wanna know what I be doing with my punami? Punami. Like why y'all wanna know that? So, wait. Sexy time. It come when it comes. Yeah. I don't force it and I don't feed it. I am celibate, you guys. I don't. That's just that. I don't know what's to, I don't even, to be said about that. Yeah, I'm very, <laughs> yeah, I'm very celibate. Like, y'all believe it? Y'all know? Who cares? Mm. Mm. Oh, oh! <laughs> I'm liking my story. I'm celibate. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> celibate. Very. Yeah. That. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, oh, what is your um perspective?
defensive on loyalty. Yeah. My perspective on loyalty is, bro, that shit not, that shit is not at all. Like, it's not on you, it's in you. Like, you don't wear loyalty, bro. You was born with the shit. You either born with it or you're not. But I know a lot of people that's not loyal. Literally, and I don't teach, I ain't teaching no bitch or no nigga how to be loyal, period. Excuse my French, but that, I ain't teaching it. If you wasn't born loyal, if you ain't come out the womb loyal, then you and your little fakeness can go over there. But loyalty, I don't take that for a joke. I don't take it lightly. Like you can't say you're loyal and do some some shady junk mm -hmm. and then try to persuade me that you're loyal. No, you're you're not. Like, and you know, what people don't understand is it may not be the situation that's big, but it's always gonna be the principle that's always gonna be big, and that's where loyalty stands. If you can't sit here and be loyal behind my back, then what the hell? You know my face, folks. Exactly. You I, I need fuck on. I need my 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 friends be like somebody talk about me, talk about me behind my back. Tee up and then tell me about it, and then we are gonna tee up again. Cause what's up? What we on? Like I just take loyalty very serious. Like I'm that ride or die friend. Like. I don't care. I'm a ride with you if you're wrong. I'm a ride with you if you're right. I'm a ride with you if you're wrong. I'm a cuss whoever out if you're wrong. But when we get by ourselves, I'm a cuss your ass out because you know you was wrong. That's how we do that. Just like that. Just like that. What you want to say? Girl, you ain't loyalty. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you better go up. Go up. Nah, but if you ain't loyal, then what are you? Like, if there's nothing without loyalty. That's not a friendship without loyalty. That's not a relationship, relationship without loyalty. There's nothing. If you're, yeah, um, for example, let's say you got a family and them motherfuckers ain't loyal. What the fuck is it? They're not your family if they ain't loyal. Mm -hmm. Everything stands on loyalty. If there's no loyalty, then there's nothing. And that's just how I feel. And if I feel like I can't trust you or you're not loyal, I'm you will never you. get the chance to speak to me again. <laughs> and that's a who? Literally. Mary had a little lamb. <laughs> oh, man. And next thing is relationships. Like, the topic? Yeah. Like, what about it? Or like? I don't know. All he said it was relationships. I feel like relationships come and go. Yeah, definitely. I think you in your life you gonna get that one relationship, that one good relationship, and y'all gonna boy, y'all gonna last. Oh, damn. Oxtail. <laughs> but um, I just feel like relationships. They some 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 of them are some tiny. Some of them are, you know. Long last, long lasting, and you got you just got someone that just don't work. Mm -hmm. Like these are still getting everywhere. Like, but I'm gonna eat so it. So you're not eating them, right? How you supposed to eat it? With your teeth. <laughs> like what? <laughs> you you eat it? Want to tear it off the bone with the fork? Like what? <laughs> no. And that was the last question from on there, but. Really, that wasn't even a question. It was just a perspective on relationships. Relationships is a sometimes thing. And I just, everything is really just like a time. Mm -hmm. Time is definitely key in a lot of these things. Like, time, don't jump to no relationship you know they do. Mm -hmm. Wait on it. Talk to them. Fill them out. See how it is. Test they loyalty. Then you want to jump in that relationship, but that don't mean that it's gonna last. Mm -hmm. And that's all I got to say about that. That's all. That's it. That's all. That's question. <laughs> Have you ever had a one night stand? <laughs> that's not the. That's not the question. <laughs> Have you? <laughs> Have you ever had a one night? That's a question for me. 
No, we very inadequate. Still For real? That was both of them? All three of them. For real? Yes, ma'am. I'm just crazy. Have you had a one night stand? Have you had a one night stand? Mm -hmm. Who, who, who Q&A is this? Mm -hmm. You asking me because you want to know me already? Huh? Huh? What? I ain't never had a one night stand. <laughs> Because <laughs> because this is a lot of meat. This 